I wanted to say hi to you. Uh, you're a judge. Tell us about uh, how many people you think Googled you. Uh, probably zero. Isn't that a great way to hack judging? Absolutely. Tell me some other things. I mean, you've been on the other side of these business plan pitch competitions. What, what, uh, what can we do? Well, uh, I think it's interesting. I, I don't know if I'm here to judge the business plan or the pitch or the business itself. And so I think um, anything you can do to kind of get me outside of the structure would be uh, would be great. I mean, there's there's people milling around here that are presenting and. None of them have walked up and said hi or introduced themselves. Or That's a great tip. Business. That's a great tip. <laughs> That's a great tip. Thank you. Okay, tell us about your background because it was super interesting how you yeah. used to do something that was tech sales. Yep, so I was an engineer uh, by training, uh, undergrad and graduate school, so master's in engineering. And then my first job was actually as technical sales. So I got uh, to transition from kind of pure technology into supporting a sales team, talking about the product. How did you then transition to entrepreneur? <laughs> uh, it was uh, mostly by accident, right? So by being able to understand the business as well as talk about the technology in deep detail, you know, I kind of had all the keys, right? I, I, I want you to clarify being an accidental entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So uh, I applied my trade as a consultant, uh, sort of after worked for this startup and that startup that failed and then went out on my own as a consultant and used my same knowledge and then that turned into a consulting business, that turned into a product business and then before you know it, I'm calling all the shots, right? Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> what are some first couple steps that we can take out of the batter's box in route to first base as pre-entrepreneurs? Hmm. Uh, well, I think number one is you need to learn how to sell, you need to learn how to talk to people on the phone, you need to learn how to talk to people in person, uh, and you need to understand the psychology of the situation. I mean, I think if you can sell, then... What was one of the first things that you did as an engineer to promote or sell or do? First things I did as an engineer to promote or sell or do. Uh, I, don't, I don't know a great answer to the question, but... Uh, what was your first job? My first job, uh, actually my, my very first job was uh, as a circuit test engineer. I sat inside of a Faraday cage all day long. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of selling there, but it did teach me that I didn't want to do that for a living. But then how did you get your first job in tech sales? Because you probably had a top graduating starting salary doing that. Right, so uh, I think uh, what's important is the ability to talk, the ability to judge people, the ability to judge a conversation, to adapt yourself. To a situation, so I think that was a little bit unique for me coming out of engineering school. Was that mm -hmm. um, sort of very, uh, very adept at conversation? So uh, that that helps a lot uh, because then people start to listen to you more, they start to trust you more, being a little bit more assertive. You feel more confident in your. If you could be 19 again as an engineer, what are a couple things that you would do in today's environment? Hmm. Uh, I would spend a lot more time, if I was in school, I would spend a lot more time in internships and doing independent study, working for companies. I would nice. not focus on classes nice. as much. I would just get out in the real world and work, right, and talk what if, to customers. I love that. You know? What if we as engineers, I love the whole get out of the way. Yeah. Well, how do we as engineers reach out to you? What's your Twitter? Or do you do social media? Oh, me personally? Yeah. Uh, EP John is, uh, I'm on Twitter, but uh, I, I love that. I love okay. it when engineers come and talk to me. And especially. EP, e is an elephant, P is in Paul. That's right. EP John, that's like right. Jonathan. J O H N. EP J O H N. Right. Yeah, I love it when engineers reach out and talk to me. I love it when engineers talk about more than just the engineering. Uh, and talk about how a problem can be solved and a technology can be applied. That's an oral agreement. That's an oral commitment, too. Sure, of course. Good job, seriously. Yeah, thank you. Awesome <laughs> job. Awesome job.